Hi everyone, it's Laurel here and I'm here with video two of my Simply Gelato video series. We're just going to dive right in today. I decided to do a little bit of uh, stencil work. Now later on in the series I'm going to show you how to make mists out of gelatos, but today we're just going to use the actual gelatos in their little chapstick forms with the stencil. This is the, um, what's this, Mini Sunburst by the Crafters Workshop stencil and I'm just adhering all that down to my craft sheet with some washi tape. I'm taking a couple of different colors and all of the colors and supplies will be listed on my blog post. And I'm going to take them and I'm just going to scribble directly onto the stencils. Now basically all of the gelato is going onto the stencil and not your card base, but that's okay. Because you're going to take your finger and you're going to blend it all together. And it's really pretty. Now you can probably use a baby wipe um, if you really don't want to get your hands all dirty, but I don't care. So I'm just blending it all together, um, the two different colors. And I'm going to go in and take that light yellow and add a little bit of highlights here and there just by scribbling. It's really fun. I wanted to show you, I had scribbled off on a, on a previous video, I had scribbled off and sprayed some water and applied that with the paintbrush on that one I'm showing you there and as you can see it really didn't show all the, the lines. So this is definitely a better way to do it instead of kind of painting the wet gelatos over the stencil. Um, so I've added that light color and then I'm going to peel up the stencil here. And you're going to get this really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful background using gelatos and stencils. It's really quite stunning in person. Now here I kind of stumbled across this and I'm really happy that I did. Um, I am cleaning off my stencil with a baby wipe and I'm just going to spray it down with some water and just clean off my stencil, which I normally don't show you on camera. But the reason I am is because I got to thinking, gosh, I wonder what it would look like if I put a card base down underneath it. So I'm going to just adhere some car a card base down, cover up my stencil, and proceed with cleaning off my stencil. And look at this really pretty look that you get. It's a really pretty kind of splotchy, watery colored background that I got just by cleaning my stencil with a wet wipe. So make sure to give that a try. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of stamping, which a lot of is. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can apply the water. Now because gel um, gelatos require a little bit of moisture to release the pigments in them. Um, so I'm just going to take my stamp there. That's the Hero Arts um, Garden Bouquet, I believe, uh, stamp set. And I'm just taking just some different colors um, and just scribbling on. The most important part here is just to make sure that you have your stamp completely covered with, with color. Um, and if you can see I'm scribbling off to the side, that's because I'm picking up some other color for my stamp on the gelato. So if you scribble off to the side, um, you'll get, you'll, you, you can't contaminate your gelatos. Now I quickly, what you didn't see is I sprayed my cardstock with water and now I'm pressing that gelato stamp right into the cardstock. So with this particular one, we sprayed the card base, not the stamp. And you really get this light kind of really pretty uh, watercolored image, which was quite stunning. Now I'm just going to go and add a little bit more color because some of it came off. And I'm going to spray the stamp and I'm going to press the stamp into the card base. And you're going to get the same kind of watercolored image, but it's just going to be a lot more vibrant. Um, I really like both looks. So there's definitely different ways that you can, you can apply the water. It's just whatever look you're going for. It's really subtle, but in person, um, it really does make a difference. Okay, the last thing we're going to do today is just so stamping with gelatos, which is super fun and it can get a little bit of messy. Um, before I get started, I want to show you that the Design Memory Crafts folks, um, they do sell a little sampler pack and it has the gesso, the glaze, and the gel medium in it. So if you want to try out one of these mediums without buying the full container, definitely pick that up. Um, it's definitely um, <clears throat> inexpensive and something worth trying. So all I did was apply some gesso down to my card base and I, because my stamp is very detailed, I wanted to make sure that the gesso was very smooth on there. And now I'm taking that Him Hero Arts envelope background stamp and I am pressing very hard into the gesso. And what's going to happen is the gesso is going to pick up an impression of your stamped image. It's hard to see right now because it's white on white, but when we add some color in a few minutes, you'll see. 
I also want to show you real quickly that you can do tinted gesso. Just take your gelato and scribble it down onto your craft sheet or your acrylic block and then add some gesso to the mix and mix it up with a paintbrush. Now you can add a bunch of different colors and create your own custom colors if you want. I'm just going to show you purple here. Um, I'm going to take the mixture that I've mixed in with the paintbrush and I'm just going to paint it right onto my card base. And I really want some of that original purple color to shine. So I'm going to take my gelato and I'm just going to scribble over the top with the purple and get a lot of those different strokes. And I really like that look. And I'm just going to take my finger because they're already completely messy and wipe the gesso off the gelato. And then I'm going to take that same Hero Arts envelope background stamp and I'm going to press directly onto the card base. Again, there's nothing on that stamp. It's completely dry. And I'm pressing really hard because that's such a detailed stamp. I want all those lines and textures to pick up in the image. And when you look closely, and I'll show you a still photo in a little bit, um, you get the impression of the stamp onto your background. It's really neat. Now that this is dry, this is the white gesso on the card base. We're going to go ahead and kind of paint over the top of it. This is another way to color your gesso if you don't want to tint it ahead of time. I'm just uh, taking a really light color blue there, and I'm just putting a very light coat. You can barely see it, but I'm, it's a very light coat, and it's also kind of dampening the card base. And then I'm going to take that same gelato and scribble over the top. My brush is not very wet, it's very, it's damp, but it's not saturated with water. Now I'm going to take a darker color blue and kind of scribble over the top. And I'm just really having a lot of fun with it. This isn't something I tried off camera to achieve the color I want. I'm just kind of playing around with it, which is exactly how I like to craft. Now I'm going to show you my water flicking technique that I got. I love with doing distressing. So you can do it with gelatos. Scribble your gelato down. Saturate your paintbrush, spray it with water, and then flick. Now I did that pretty fast, so I'm going to show you again in a purple. But first I need to dry my, my gold there, so I'm going to zap it with a heat gun real quick. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scribble my purple gelato down onto my craft sheet, and I'm going to spritz it with water. And then I'm going to pick it up, and that brush is another one of the brushes offered in the Design Memory Crafts Toolkit. It'll all be linked on my blog. And I'm just flicking. And then you get that really cool mixed media artsy kind of look um, with your project. And I love the craft sheet because you just wipe it up. Wipe up your mess. It's pretty cool. And I'm just drying it. Now let's take a look at some photos, some still photos, so hopefully you can pick up the textures from all of the photos. Here's our little sunburst we did with the gelato. I absolutely love both looks. And if you look, you can really pick up the texture in the blue there, but it's stunning. And here it is in the purple. And here's our, our two colors of the, with the water stamping. And here's everything we did today. Thanks so much for watching.